I'm down at Ironman 4x4 in Melbourne and I've brought the Car Advice Nissan Navara down for its next round of modifications. It's already in the workshop getting some stuff pulled off it. This time it's all about exterior modifications. We've done the wheels and tyres already and we've done the suspension as well. Along with some drawers in the back and we've given that a really good run in the high country and it's all performed really well. But we're doing some other, what I would call, pretty essential modifications for a touring four-wheel drive. Bull bar, winch, rear bar and a snorkel. These are all pretty big ticket items. Take a bit of work to get fitted up too. So let's go have a look at how these guys actually do it and have a look at the products themselves. But before we get into the action in the workshop, I just want to have a quick look at some of the gear in the showroom. Iron Man has been in the four-wheel drive scene for many years now. They started off doing pretty basic suspension stuff back in the day, but now they've got a huge range of suspension. And look in this showroom, they've got so much stuff fridges, underbody protection, all the recovery gear and winches you could dream of, plus obviously bull bars and just about everything you'd want for your four-wheel drive. So this is the bull bar that we're getting fitted up to the front of the Navara. They do it in a few different styles, Ironman 4x4. You can do it with no hoops whatsoever or one big center hoop here, but we've gone for the full works because it's better for animal strikes and better protection and that sort of thing. What I do like about this bar though is these side wings here, how much they actually kick up in front of the wheel. That's really good for clearance off-road and I think it suits the look of the Navara as well. The guys are just wiring up some of the stuff for the bull bar at the moment, but while this bonnet's popped, I just want to show you, this is the factory air intake for the Nissan Navara. So that's your air box there. The air intake sort of comes down and pops up and it's a forward facing one. So it's pretty good for on-road, I suppose. It's probably drawing in colder air, but for off-road, it's probably not the best solution. So we're fitting a snorkel to this vehicle. What they do actually is do a lot of cutting on this air box itself and redirect it. So it comes out the side here, and then they plumb it all up and come out the top here, so it's a lot better for off-road. Who doesn't like a little unboxing? We've got the winch here. This is a nine man, nine and a half thousand pound winch with synthetic rope. We're gonna be fitting up to this Navara, but I'll pull it out and see what we actually get. That's a strap dampener, very important for safe uses of winches. This actually has a wireless controller, I think. So that unplugs or it plugs in. It's actually got a light on it too. So if you're on the, uh, there you go, look at that. On the late night recoveries, that'll be a pretty handy little thing to have, I think. Let's have a look at this winch itself though. There it is. Not too heavy actually, that's pretty good. That's mostly because of this synthetic rope, which is lighter, a lot lighter than steel and it's also quite a bit safer as well. Spotting a little breather here as well. That's probably for the winch motor, I suppose, as it heats up. It's kind of like a differential. Put breathers on your diffs and your gearboxes when it goes through water or it's gonna get wet. That's pretty cool. That'll probably keep this thing sealed against water a lot better than winches without that feature. What else is here? It's a horse fair lead, horse synthetic rope, and the control box, which looks to be pretty solid. So that's all pretty positive. Really keen to actually get the Navarro bogged and see if this stuff actually works. This is the stuff that we've pulled off the back of our Navara. So that's a 2017 SL spec. We've got a factory Nissan tow bar here and a rear bumper. These are all pretty fine, but you probably wouldn't need to be Einstein to figure out that what we're fitting up here is going to be better for off-road. This is the Ironman 4x4 rear bar. A lot more steel, it's going to be a lot stronger, but what I like about it the most is the protection that it offers, especially for a dual cab ute. You've got that kind of vulnerable rear overhang there at the back that you probably might hit off-road if you're going pretty hard. These bits of tube here are designed really nicely, so the thing will slide, you're not going to damage your tub. Maybe you'll nick a bit of paint off, but that's all right, I'd prefer that than having to replace the tub. Still got a tow bar, it's still perfectly functional in that regard, so I reckon this is a pretty cool product. So I just watched the guys install this snorkel and they're all done now. And I have to say, it's not something I'd recommend you do at home. It's a pretty involved job. 
They've actually moved the ECU up and back on this new bracket. They've taken the airbox out and they've actually cut into it to move the inlet spot. You can see here where the original inlet is, that's all blocked off now. Air comes in through the side here, through the panels which they've cut, up through the snorkel. So that's a fully sealed system now. The earliest point water, dust and air is going to get in is right up at that high point, which is really good for four-wheel driving. Here we are, finished product, and I reckon it's looking amazing. The guys have done a great job, turned this around in less than a day. Now it's worth noting with this extra weight over the front, it is sitting down a little bit more than before. We'll have to play with the front suspension just a little bit to bring it up, but it's a pretty small job, no worries. But now we've got better clearance and much better protection for off-road. Same story with the rear bar at the back, and if I do get stuck, there's a winch on the front to pull myself out, all my mates and the snorkel is always a really good idea for a four-wheel drive that's actually going off-road. Now you can't test these accessories out in the suburbs of Melbourne, you've got to go out into the bush to do it. We won't be doing it today though, it'll be a later date thing, so keep your eyes on caradvice.com for future updates on this Nissan Navara.